In America, we all have certain inalienable rights. Like the right to bear arms and the right to remain silent. But the state has the ultimate right. It can kill us. Due to popular demand, Governor James Devlin revived capital punishment. And he decided that Jefferson Keene, a man he doesn't know, a man he will never even meet, should be put to death. Should be put down like a rabid dog. No! You swat a fly, step on an ant, squash a cockroach, you don't think much of it. In fact, killing a bug gives you a sense of accomplishment. Fucking ant was ruining your picnic. Cockroach was crawling through your kitchen cabinet. You put an end to their disgusting, miserable little lives and make a better world for everyone. Only for everyone you kill, more appear. Bigger. Uglier. Meaner than before. Hey, some say there are five stages of death. Denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and finally, acceptance. The moment when you say to yourself, I'm going to die and ain't shit I can do about it. <laughs> oh, yeah. In Oz, we know all about that. We know all about acceptance. Look at you here. Governor James Devlin, under pressure from religious leaders, including Sheikh Zahir Farrar and Francis Cardinal Avgod, has granted a 30-day stay of execution to Jefferson <laughs> Keene, the man convicted of killing another inmate at Oswald Maximum Security Penitentiary. Keene will donate a kidney to an ailing sister. He is expected to go into surgery sometime today. The governor was quick to point out that all medical costs are being covered by the family's own insurance. Clemency. That's a fancy word for mercy. You see, the governor can commute a death sentence. He has the power to just pick up the phone and say no. But to me, the only time the governor shows clemency is when he don't make that call. Because life in prison without parole is a shitload worse than death. Death is parole. Death is the real mercy. It's rare when you say goodbye to someone that you know it's the last time. You can try to say whatever it is you should have said before, or you can just hold on tight. Just hold on, hoping the moment will last you a lifetime. Over 3,000 men and women are sitting on death row right now. Congress has denied state inmates access to federal courts. Congress has also eliminated financing to law offices for death row appeals. The states themselves are shortening the appeals process. In this country, there's now one execution every single week. There are more executions this year than any time since the 50s. And we all know how righteous the 50s were. I'm really not ready for this. Oh, man. First, the inmates given sodium pentothal, the same anesthetic used in hospitals for major surgery. Then, a oh, massive man. dose of pancuronium bromide that paralyzes the diaphragm. Then, <laughs> potassium chloride to stop the heart. Don't try this at home, kids. There's this brother on death row somewheres. He checked in when he was 16. He sat there another 16 years while the courts and lawyers argued about this and that. While he waited, he painted a mural on his wall. For all those years, he painted, not letting a soul see what he was up to. Finally, when he was 32 and had spent more life on death row than in his mama's house, all his appeals were exhausted. He was about to die. As he was about to be let out for the final time, he finally unveiled his masterpiece. All there was was six words. Death is certain, life is not. The next day, the hacks painted over it. Peace out.